Hello, welcome to OpenMentor.net. This is on C programming. In this session, we are going to see functions. If you see here, I have got the main declared here, and then there is something else here, average. Let us forget about the syntax for a moment. All I am trying to do here is, I have three parameters, integer p1, integer p2, integer p3. There are three integers I am passing. I am calculating the average in a variable called a, p1 plus p2 plus p3 divided by 3. This is a mathematical function. Average equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 divided by 3. That is the formula that I am giving. Then I am making a printf function. I am in function average. The average is I am printing the value of a. Then in the main function, I have, call, I have got three variables, a, b, and c. a is 10, b is 20, and c is 30. I am in main, then I am calling this average. I am just, this is, a, this is called procedure call. A procedure call means f of x. It looks like f of x. In mathematical function, you say f of x. I am passing a, b, and c. There are three parameters I am passing. So what happens here? The program executes this line. It executes this line. It sees this line. Then the control immediately goes back here. It executes this, this, this. Once this is finished, it comes back here. It comes back here. If you look at here, there is a beauty. I have got a uh, variable a in main. I have got another variable a here. The value of this variable is uh, the is 10. This is going to be calculated. Okay. Now let me execute this and then show you what happens. This is called modularity in programming. You need to have multiple procedures. A procedure means there is a keyword called void, v o i d. That means this does not return a value back. Whereas if you have seen a function like strlen, right? strlen returns the length of the string. It returns something. We have not used that one. We have used void. If you are using something void and then a procedure uh, here, it is called procedure. I will show how to convert this to a function once we finish this part. Okay? The thing is, you can have variables with the same name in multiple procedures. It does not have any problem. It is not going to create any problem for you. This A is local to this main. Okay. A is local here. Again, I have got another A here, local here. So there are two instances of A. Though the name is same, it is not the same variable. There are two different spaces allocated here. Now let me execute this. Once I execute, initially it was in main, <coughs> then it went to the function average. It calculated 10 plus 20 plus 30 divided by 3, which is 20. It's coming back to main. So the value of A inside this procedure is 20. Now let me print one more thing here printf value of a in main percentage d slash n is uh, a. Let us print that also. Okay. Let us see what is the value of that. The value of a, you know it is calculated. It is 20 here, but here it is 10. Now let us execute. Look here. The value of a inside the function average is 20. Whereas the value of A in main is still 10. That means, though you have passed this A to this procedure, which is A corresponds to P1, B corresponds to P2, C corresponds to P3, the value of A is not getting changed. Though it is changed here, it is not getting changed. This is called the local, local variables. Okay, So it, it is not going to get altered. So if you are using a, a structure like this and then with a void, it is called a procedure. That means it's not going to return anything back. 
So every time you execute, okay, now if I change this, I want to make another call rather than this one. Let me make another call, okay. Average, let us say 5, comma 8, comma 45. I am passing these three numbers. Now let us execute this. So that it, it calculates a new thing. The average is 19 and then this is 10. It's not getting changed. So the local variable to main is not getting altered though it is getting altered inside this procedure. The advantage of making something as a procedure is you can call it from anywhere. It is always suggested that you have all your procedures before and then have the main at the end. You can also have main at the beginning if you and the functions or the procedures below that but you need to have some other prototype declarations. We will see that later but it's better that you put all your procedures before and then main at the end. This is called procedures. I can now convert this to a function. A function means something that returns a value. I want to convert it to a function. It needs to be like y is equal to f of x. This is a typical mathematical notation too. In procedure calls, you can use f of x comma y. In a function call, it has a left hand side assignment operator equal to a function. So I want to get the average here. So how do I do that? In that case, the procedure cannot have void. It needs to return something. So I'm going to return integer. What is the return type? You need to declare over here. At the end, you need to say return that particular value. So you need to return that back explicitly using a return within brackets that. Now, in the caller also, suppose I have I declare another variable called x and then I will say x equals average of phi comma let me say a b c okay a b c so I pass these three as parameters now x is getting calculated now let me print that value of x over here okay value of x in main is x. Now let us execute this one. See what happens. So it is in main function. It goes inside the function. The value calculated is 20. It comes back to main. That value 20 gets assigned to this x. So x is now 20. A remains the same. So you can pass parameters, get return values back, and then assign to some other variable. So, if you have void here, it is called procedure. It can return integer, float, characters, string, anything. As long as it returns something with an explicit return within bracket some value, it is called function. Okay, this is called function. Syntactically, they are exactly the same except the return value declared here while calling a procedure you will not have a left hand side while calling a function you will have a left hand side equal to then that function call this is one of the very very important feature in C and in all programming languages because this increases modularity and it increases reusability of all the procedures so that you don't have to code again and again or no cut and paste again and again. Just declare it in one place, call it with proper parameters as and when you need. I'll end this session over here. Thank you.